Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. I'm just hanging out with Bernie here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I just want to talk about my favorite bottle designs, my personal favorites, the designs that I like of niche fragrances. So I'm going to do a niche video. I'm going to do a designer video separately. So these are my favorite niche fragrance bottles just in terms of design. So the first one is by Rito. I really like, and by the way, these are in no particular order. I really like this very minimalistic style. I like the cylindrical cap. I love the attention to detail and the fact that it's magnetic. I love that the inside of the cap has the writing. And honestly, I think that it's really, really well done. It's so simple and yet so beautiful. So I just really love all of their bottles. I can imagine having them all on a shelf lined up and just like looking pristine. And by the way, some of these I'm not going to have, so I'm just going to put a picture of the bottle up on the screen if I don't have them. But the next one I do have, and it's Penhaligans, and I love their apothecary style bottles. This is Artemisia. We're not going to talk about the scent, we're just talking about the bottle design. I love the way that the writing is on the back. It's just a really beautiful glass apothecary bottle. They all have different lids. I even really like the ones, the, the portrait collection or whatever, the ones with the animal heads. Those look really cool. I think they're really unique and I really, really love these bottles. I think they're really stylish. The next favorite bottle design is Maison Francis Curjean. And I have two. I have Baccarat Rouge and I have Amorous Ohm and they just look so nice together on a shelf and I want to get more of them. They just have a beautiful rectangular classy sort of design. I love the logo inside the cap and they're nice and heavy and they just they're just beautiful. They're just simplistic and beautiful elegant bottles. There's nothing really more to say about it. I love a simplistic elegant design. I'm going to try not to be too redundant because obviously I love simplistic rectangular like kind of like clean elegant designs. These are not all like that. So the next one is Amouage and I don't have any bottles right now but I wish I did and I like the ones that are targeted towards women more. I love that little like hat almost that they have. I'm going to put them both on the screen because they're both really beautiful and I love the subtle colors that they add to like Love Blossom, Lilac Love and Beach Hut, like those, you know, Sunshine Woman, all of those like very muted colors. They just work really well. It doesn't cheapen it at all. It's they're really, really beautiful bottles. So that's my other favorite niche bottle design. The other one I also don't have and it's Maison Margiela replica and they have those sprayers that are like really interesting, like really interesting shaped sprayers. The, the mist that comes out of them is crazy. I don't have a bottle myself at the moment, but I've used them before and I love the way that their sprayers work. They're really well designed. I love the label and I love the concept like replica and how everything's labeled as to what time and place it's supposed to represent the the kind of notes that are dominating the basically the whole idea behind the fragrances on the label and it's like a replica of a certain time and place i think it's a really cool concept and i think the bottles are beautiful as well the next brand i also don't have a bottle of but i really really want to get a bottle i think they're going to be the most beautiful fragrances just because of the bottle design and it's les soeurs de noé and they i actually discovered them on instagram they have the most beautiful photos and the most beautiful bottle design. It almost looks like crystal, the way that the glass is cut with that beautiful like turquoisey teal cap. It's it's stunning and I really love those bottles. They're unique and they're, they're lovely and it speaks to probably the fragrance quality. So I'm excited to try those one day and yeah, I'm really impressed by the design of those bottles. And the next brand, I also don't have a bottle and that's Neanderthal and they have the white and the black. They are like actually works of art. They look like they've been carved out of stone. I think I can get samples of those. I think I saw on their website that they do sell samples so I do need to order that but I haven't heard much about those fragrances. In fact, I haven't heard anything. I just kind of stumbled upon them on Fragrantica one time and I was like captivated by the bottle design. I think it's really like a piece of art like a carving so that's really neat i've never seen anything like that and i think they're super cool 
Okay, next, I actually do have a bottle of this one and it's kerosene. I've mentioned the fragrance a few times. The fragrance that I have is Unknown Pleasures, but I love their bottle designs. I love this metal plaque and the lettering is hand imprinted. I think it's such a unique touch and just really interesting, like simplistic, really interesting. The only thing is that the cap doesn't actually stay on. I wish they had a magnetic thing on these that the cap would stay on because I really love when you can like lift the bottle by the cap. It's it just shows that they've paid attention to that detail. So yeah, if I had to give one minor critique, that would be it. But other than that, I think that the bottles are beautiful. They're that equilateral square shape that I love. And it's just very pleasing to the eye. I love symmetry and they're great. So yeah, kudos to you guys. I love these bottles. The next couple are honorable mentions. And one is just because they're not like outstanding, but they're just pleasing to me. I love Joe Malone bottles. They're very simplistic, but they're really elegant and pretty. And I just, I really love how they look. Just, you know, they're nothing out of this world, but to me, they are really, really pleasing to the eye. So that's it. I just love Joe Malone. I love the 100 mil, the 30 mil is like kind of plain. And the other ones are the Dior Private Collection. I love their bottles. I love that cylindrical, minimalistic uh, approach. I think they're beautiful. I really, really like that style. Now, any bottle designs that I haven't mentioned, it doesn't mean that I don't love them. It's just that they might either be in the same vein of the ones that I have mentioned, or they're just, you know, they don't do much for me. But obviously this is very subjective. Everyone's tastes are different. I kind of can't believe that I have to mention that because it goes without saying, but you know, it's YouTube. So yeah, these are my personal opinions. These are the bottles that I personally like. I tried to keep the list fairly short. I tried to keep it to 10, but two of them are honorable mentions. So we're gonna slide that in and let me know which bottle designs you guys really like. There's a couple that I didn't mention just because they are like, on the line of like niche versus designer. So I'm just probably gonna throw them into my designer video. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be the Maison Lancome. Um, those bottles are really beautiful, but I don't know if that qualifies like as actually niche or designer. And yeah, so that's just, I just thought it would be a fun little video just to talk about bottle design for a change. Let me know which bottles are your favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.